Some good news? I think so. <laughs> Okay, so in February of this year, just at the very start of February, I received a message from a woman, a very nice lady, uh, inquiring if I could possibly help her out. She had two inverts that she'd taken on at a very young age. They had grown uh, really well, very, very healthy looking uh, specimens. And they had reached a size that she knew they needed bigger enclosures but felt it would be better suited um, with somebody else. And so had contacted me asking if I could take on uh, these two inverts. Now, I'm a non-driver, so that created issues with uh, getting them. As I say, there was about an hour's, hour's difference between where she stayed and where I stayed. However, uh, just uh, a few days ago, this lovely lady delivered these two absolutely beautiful uh animals to me. I'm really, really, really pleased that she felt they were coming to the right hands. It's some good news, especially because we've had some pretty rubbish news recently, other than obviously the scorpion babies. Um, but without further ado, let's go and meet the two new, absolutely beautiful, stunning additions. They do need rehoused. Uh, we will be doing that, but let's go have a look at them right now. And I am just over the moon with it. So as you can see, this is our first one and one of these uh, Komodo type of tanks. If we lift the lid up there, we will go and now have a better look. Okay, so as you can see, we have removed the decorations. Here she is here, absolutely beautiful. I'm pretty sure you had spotted her. Let's bring the camera down and see if we can get a better look at her. Let's do a wee bit of the old uh, zoomy. There we go, and I think we can all agree that is one absolutely beautiful looking spider. It would appear we are on a mix of vermiculite and coir. Uh, but as you can see, zooming back out again, that would be the wrong way. Zooming back out again, we can see this house is in need of, uh, or that certainly this spider is in need of a slightly bigger enclosure. Okay, so that was an incredibly beautiful uh, Chilean rose. Okay, so now we are going to take a look at spider number two and I actually didn't realize these spiders could get quite as big as uh, this girl. So let's go take a look. So this here, I don't think it wants a pie. Okay, so tank number two. Uh, this is certainly the smaller of the two tanks. Certainly needs an upgrade into a larger tank, but this is what we're looking at. I'm just going to move this out of the way. And I'm just going to move this. Again, we would appear to be on a mix of coir and vermiculite. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. And he, this is what we are looking at right in here. Now this girl is certainly well fed, but she is a beauty. Let's have a better look. Okay, so here she is. What an absolute beautiful Nando Chromatis. And just try and go. She's just beautiful. Okay, so here you can see her on her tub. Uh, very, very docile spider thus far. Um, even with a bit of uh, gentle encouragement. Sorry, my hand would be in the way. Uh, there's no real um, threat or anything of her running off. She's a very, very docile big girl thus far. But looking forward to rehousing her into something a bit bigger than this tub. Go! Da. Go! Da. Go! Da, da, go! 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 Ow! You're stabbing me in the neck with a pencil. Da. Ow! <laughs> okay, so I think we can all agree. Can we all agree? <laughs> I think we can all agree. Yep, yeah, I think we're in agreement. Uh, I think we can all agree. They are absolutely <laughs> beautiful, aren't they? Beautiful. 
Yeah, good. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Uh, Chilean Rose and Nando Chromatis, the Brazilian uh, black and white. So they will be getting rehoused. I will do that just now. Okay, so we are simply going to move you into here. Let's go. Come on. That's it. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. So that's her in here. Who is now going to go into here? Possibly. A lot of new textures, the moss. Want to just coir. Move that out. We have a beautiful hide down in here. And we also have a hide down in there. I had to go on a bit of a supply run. Okay, so the reason for the supply run will be explained in the next video. Basically, in order to rehouse these two tarantulas, well, one house was free anyway, which was the one the Chilean Rose has just gone into. Uh, due to the loss of my Laos Forest Scorpion. So that's been rejiggered and that's gone into there. The one next to that currently houses a large Heterometrius, uh, the big swarm of Dami. She is getting an upgrade, which will be in the next video, as well as a few other rehousings. And we won't see that now, but she's getting taken out of there. That tank's getting redone up and the Nando's going into that one. Follow. Okay, as we can see, she has been uh, shaken, shaken, flicking. She has been flicking like absolutely mad. There's a lot of hair uh, gathered on there, so she's obviously getting a bit stressed out. So we want to get her into her new enclosure as soon as possible. Okay, so I'm really, really hoping she's going to be a happy, happy... Uh, girl, and here we'll get her on this nice, dry, dry bit of. Which is want to get out of the tub. There we go, girl. There we go. How beautiful is she? Just absolutely beautiful. But certainly need a wee diet there. Okay, so that was both of them rehoused, but I do have to confess I decided to swap them round and put them into the opposite setups from the ones they were in. So we'll have a quick look at that. Okay, so I don't know why, but I just decided to put the, the Chilean Rose into this one here. There was just something about it. It felt more, I don't know, just felt it would be better in here. And I decided to move the Nando into here. I don't know why, it was just something about the setups made me prefer it this way around. So, there we go. Sitting, relaxing, up there. Okay, so we shall leave them to settle in. Awesome spiders, beautiful specimens. Really pleased that they've come to me. Really looking forward to having them as part of my collection. There's uh, some moves in the next video. Fury housing shots in the next video I'll be doing that I had to do as part of this video. Um, a few things had to move around, basically. There's been a few changes on everything. Uh, but you'll see that in the next video. So please do share this one, like and subscribe, and uh, be good, be guy. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye for now. Bye bye. See you next time.